Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. I want to talk to you about something which I had the pleasure of learning from somebody very, very young. So I was spending some time with my uh, little niece and she is about four and three quarters. So a couple of months time she'll be turning five. So uh, my mum was looking after her whilst I was working and I popped downstairs on a, on a bit of a break and um, she was watching some TV, uh, her programmes which she was watching whilst my mum was preparing her some lunch. Now, I was sat there watching uh, watching this with my four and a half year old niece and the conversation got very, very grown up all of a sudden in terms of making mistakes and when you do something wrong of what you should do. And it was all based on that uh, in the actual show which she was watching, uh, it had said that um, you are not your mistakes and it was a cartoon, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but it was incredible. And of my four and a half year old niece, the view of how she explained it was just so pure and so sincere and just incredible. And actually, when you, when you think of it, that you are not your mistakes, how many adults in this world would it do good to hear that? So after after we had a lovely afternoon when I finished work, we played some games and one thing or another and done some drawing and colouring, I was thinking about this and I thought I want to capture this on my channel because I don't know about you, but a lot of the time I beat myself up when I don't necessarily uh, do the right thing or in terms of if I could have said something uh, to somebody in a different way or perhaps... Um, said something slightly better or done something slightly better or perhaps approached a topic or perhaps uh, approached a piece of work in a slightly different way or even conversations with family members perhaps we could have handled it slightly differently now I know I know that happens to me sometimes absolutely I am uh, I am one of four of my uh, in the busy family home of parents so um, my mum and dad have four um, and uh, my three brothers, I, I get on with very, very well, but we do have differences of opinions. Um, and I've got uh, my sister-in-law, my brother's fiance, and um, we've all very varying differences of opinions. And apparently my four-year-old uh, niece exactly is added to the mix there as well. And she was giving me these little bits of snippets of advice of which she had uh, picked up from the cartoon she was watching. And it was just incredible. And I thought to myself, do you know what? How often do we go through life and we let one small mistake define us? Which we shouldn't. And do you know what? Some days, I'll be quite honest with you. Um, so a lot of people who, who don't know me, a lot of my subscribers will know, but faith is everything to me. It's a huge guidance in my life. Um, and especially so after I lost my nan, my absolute world. Um, so very, very quickly, my life was turned upside down. So my faith has always been a strong grounding to me. Um, and my nan, and hopefully a lot of people will always uh, will appreciate this, but my nan has almost been like my church throughout my life. Um, and I hold on to that and it gives me a lot of strength it really really does and the Lord gives me a lot of guidance so prayer for me happens lots and I get a lot of strength and guidance from that so usually if I've done something or I've not done something in the right way or for example something's not gone quite right whether it be at work whether it be conversation with a brother or whether it be something's happened or God forbid it, a disaster has happened in the family or one thing or another and unfortunately all families go through storms but we work together and we get through those storms and usually a bright sunny horizon follows afterwards but it did have me thinking do you know what how often in my life I let one mistake ruin my day or one sort of slip up with me perhaps forgetting to do something or not perhaps hearing the right thing from somebody and you know what? I think it all stems down to that strive, um, that that constant kind of strive for perfection and wanting things to be perfect. And you know what? That, and it took me to hear that from my little niece this morning, that actually that ruins and actually takes so much of life off of me. Well, actually, I'm trying to control every single element of life when actually life is sort of slipping past me and I'm missing those little moments and I'm missing those magical moments because I'm too busy trying to ensure that everything's perfect and I think do you know what the sooner we realize that actually that we can't control everything and there is going to be mishaps and there is going to be things which 
could have perhaps been done slightly differently, or mistakes of whatever array, but they don't define us, they don't stop us, and in fact it's the, the not quite perfect bits which make us the incredible and amazing people who we are. And I say that because I'm present in a very amazing, stunning, beautiful family, and I'm very, very privileged with what the Lord blessed me with. And you know what, I really felt that it was so, so important because I get so many comments about how I present myself on my channel, and sometimes uh, amazing positive comments. I get the odd negative comment, but I think there is always going to be a sort of comment like that when you do anything in terms of uh, YouTube or on anything on social media or anything like that. You make that, you make that step on that kind of platform. You put almost quite a large aspect of your life on an open platform, so you're always going to get a difference of opinion. So that doesn't necessarily. Um, kind of negatively affect me, but it does sometimes make me think, in some of my clips even, perhaps I could have said that differently, or perhaps I could have described it a bit differently, and, um, you know, but it, it really just, just makes me think that actually sometimes I really do need to stay, take a, a step back in life, that actually whether it be work and perhaps something's not completely gone quite right, or perhaps a conversation with a brother has not gone quite right, or let's say something financial, perhaps you've made a mistake, you've bought something, you've made a mistake, or it's not gone quite right, or just anything in life has just not gone quite right. If you think about it, and this is me kind of being quite hypothetical and kind of philosophical, that actually there's not too much in this world that we can't correct with kind of giving it another go again, taking a step back, enjoying the moment, appreciating where we are in the here and now in life. And actually, do you know what, when you think of it like that, there's not actually very many things in this world which we can't rectify, repair, work at, or make better. So why on earth do I do this to myself sometimes and actually beat myself up over if I haven't used the right word at work when I'm delivering a forecast, or if I'm having a conversation with someone senior and I happen to make a slip up on introducing myself, or if I've slipped up on the word I've used, or perhaps I get a bit tongue-tied, or perhaps in a conversation with a brother, I'm a bit worried I may have offended his partner um, through giving an opinion or giving a view on their child. I only want the best for my niece. In the middle of all of this, it's the it's that kind of greater aspect of wanting the best. But like I've just said as well, it's almost that element of control. And I think I read something actually a couple of weeks back. The minute you stop controlling, you get so much more time and energy back into your own life where you can invest elsewhere. And if people actually embedded that sort of control in their own lives, then actually they will come to you anyway, so not to worry about it. I know a huge thing comes to worry, and a lot of my subscribers will know I naturally worry about a lot. Um, but you know what? We're all different, aren't we? We all bring an incredible mix of qualities and skills and experiences and kind of ways of life and views of life to the table, I think, in this world. And it would be an awful world if we were all exactly the same. But I wanted to share that this morning because I thought that that view of my niece at four and a half years old, probably a little bit older actually, that perspective of a child just so simple and pure, when actually, do you know what? If a, if a child or if my niece makes a mistake or anything, she doesn't dwell on it, she doesn't think about it no more. She goes on and does what the next fun thing she wants to do, or what she's doing, or looking forward to what she's next gonna be up to. But whereas there's me, fast forward, I think, 26 years, and I worry and dwell if somebody's not okay, or if someone's done something wrong, or if I've not quite done something right. And you know what? Sometimes it can ruin my afternoon. Sometimes it can ruin an evening. Sometimes I've been on holiday, and I've lost a day where I've been stressing over something at home. And actually, just that small, tiny thing, I could learn a lot from my four-and-a-half-year-old niece. Or at four, she can teach me that actually, you're not your mistakes. I know they're not necessarily mistakes, but you're not, you're not those small sort of blips, you're not those sort of small mishaps in life. You're the incredible person what brings all of those great qualities, what you house, and all of those great things which you share, and just your incredible view on life, and everything which you have to offer as the person you are. Not the mishaps you may have had, not the misfortunate choice of words, or if something's happened to you, or one thing or another, it really does just make you think that how incredible is that? 
And it really does just show to us that we can learn so much every single day. And I think the scary part is when you come across somebody who thinks that they can't learn anything else or that they're done with learning because we're always learning. Look today, never ever did I think that just taking 10 minute break, sat, just wanting to enjoy a little bit of special quality time with my niece, watching some cartoons, having a bit of a laugh and a joke in a game with her, would I think that this would spur a thought with me? And do you know what? I'm sat here this evening thinking to myself, I just made myself some coffee and I'm there thinking, do you know what? The things this week, as we're on Thursday now, the things this week, and it's been a really hectic, busy week, I've gone through and I've been worrying about this and worrying about conversations or how I delivered a piece of work. And actually, do you know what? Why? Why? Because the time, the energy I've invested in that, I could be using it on something else. I could be enjoying other things. And those bits, those sort of elements of time, those kind of busy headspace moments, as I say, wrapped up and rolled up in all of those things, worrying about that slight mistake or that mishap, I could be getting on with life. I could be following on that journey, which we've all got and we're all blessed with in this life. I know I need to practice what I preach, mm. but honestly, my four-year-old niece could certainly teach us all so, so much. So you're not your mistakes, you're not your mishaps. And if you make a little bit of a slight, I don't know whether it be uh, a bit about a misinterpretation or, or, a, uh, or a slip up of, of judgment, and we shouldn't be judging anybody. But I think the next time we make a slight mistake or error for that, see it what it is, just as a slight slip up. It's not you. You can rectify this, you can work at it, and you can get on with enjoying this blessing of a life which we all share. On that note, thank you very much. And I really do hope that you've taken something from that as well. As I say, my niece, my niece, she's an incredible, incredible little girl. And she's been through so much. And she's so insightful. And so I, I'm blessed to have so many wonderful memories of all my nieces and nephews. I really am. Um, my little niece, who I'm talking about, uh, that's my twin brother's little girl. And... Um, she was born premature at 28 weeks, so she's had a right journey of her early life. She really, really has. And she's she's got through all of it. She honestly has. She's defied all the odds and she's met all her milestones. She's just breaking boundaries all the time and she's just absolutely incredible. Uh, so this September she'll be uh, starting school, which we're all excited for. Um, so yeah, it's pretty amazing. So on that note, as I say, my little niece can certainly teach us all quite a lot about life and actually do you know what i think as well isn't it if you if you can't if you can't change it or if you can't sort of um do anything about it there and then why are you holding on to it you can you can push on you can do you can do more things you can do greater things you can get on with this incredible adventure so on that note god bless and thank you very much for being here with me and until next time i look forward to seeing you then bye for now